Hello everybody, it's Mike Patterson from Patterson Photography and First Choice Photo here in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to my studio. Today I want to do a quick update on my credit card processing company that I'm using and how I got here and what I think about them and what I'm paying for fees. So first, how I got here. Well, we all know what happened in 2019 with businesses being shut down. Uh, for 30 something years, I was with Chase Payment Tech and they were an okay company, uh, but I was paying a lot. And during the shutdown, they were the rudest company I'd ever dealt with. So I finally ended up telling them to take their machine back and I'd find somebody else. Did a lot of research over the years and I actually found that Square was an actually highly rated company. The issue I didn't like about them when I first checked them out was they only accepted debit cards and not credit cards or vice versa. Uh, I think it was debit they accepted and I needed them to accept both. So I did some research back in 2020, I think it was in May or June, and I found out that they actually now accepted not only credit cards and debit cards, but Apple Pay and Google Pay. So I decided to give them a try. Contacted the company, um, got some good service at the time from the company, and they gave me all the information, and I ended up buying the machine, and I ended up going with them. Now. What did I find out? Well, first thing I found out was, like most companies, is that they're really helpful until you buy their product and then don't bother calling them. Fortunately, I haven't had a lot of things I've had to call them for, but when I emailed them when I was signing up, I got a response within a few hours. After I got the machine and I emailed them asking them a question, it actually took them a week and a half to get back to me on two different occasions. So yeah, not, not really impressed with that, but fortunately I haven't had to use them a lot for that. As far as the machine, what do I think of it? I really like it. Um, it's easy to use. I can use my computer in the back and put stuff into the uh, menu. So I can add items to it through my computer and it'll update instantly. As far as taking the cards from the customers, overall 99% I'm happy with it. Every once in a while we seem to have an issue and I'm really not sure what it is and why it happens, but it will not take some cards and we have to try it twice. Now it's been less with the most recent software updates and it doesn't update every day. So I'm hoping they're working out those bugs. Uh, one time we had it where it would not take the person's tap and they knew that it would take taps. So then we had them insert it and it still wouldn't take it. So I rebooted the whole machine and the tap worked perfectly. So I'm not too sure what that was, but overall I'm really happy. Um, uses the same paper as my other machine. So I'm happy with that. The one thing I don't like, and it's a big I don't like, the power button is located on the side and I don't know how many times people have picked it up to put their card in and they have hit the power button and it's gone into the screen saying, do you want to uh, power off or restart? And they look at it and they go, what's happening? And by the time I get it back, it, they've hit a button and it's gone into power down or restart or it's gone to a different screen. So I really wish they put that power button somewhere as different or put a little cover over it. That would have been a great thing. Um, as far as everything else, I'm quite happy with it. Now, as far as fees, I was paying with my other machine $40 a month. I think it was up to 45 when I told them to take it back. This machine I bought for $200. So I don't have that expense. As far as credit card processing fees, I'm paying on this machine, I think it's 2.75 for credit cards and 10 cents for debit cards. It's a lot more than what I was paying. It's double on the debit card side of things than what my old machine was. And it's higher than my other machine was on the base fees. The problem I had with Chase Payment Tech, which was the other company, was they had all these fees on top of their fees on top of their fees, and you never knew what you were paying. And that really hurts a small business because one card could be 1.5 or 1.75 or 2.25, but by the time they add on all their other non-compliance fees and this fee and that fee and everything else, you don't have a clue of what you're paying until you get your statement at the end of the month. This is a flat fee that I know that I'm paying, so I can factor that in. Now, as far as how has it been since I've had it, I've had it now for, I think it's about eight months. 
I've looked at my expenses monthly by using it and it's actually quite a lot lower on slow months than what the other machine was. Over Christmas, November and December with Christmas, which is my highest sales month on my electronic machines, it was a little bit higher for my percentage wise, but overall, when I actually got down to it, I actually ended up saving money on this machine. Now, it could be a couple of reasons. People are using e-transfer more. They are using debit cards more than credit cards. So I don't know why overall it was down so much. And it was down a lot in November, almost $200, or in December, I should say. It was down almost $200, and it was down around $50 over previous years in November. So that's a quite a bit of decrease. So overall, if you're looking for a machine for your small business, I strongly recommend it. I bought the machine and just don't use the tablet thing because I just like it. It just looks a little bit more professional, a little bit easier to use. And yeah, I would strongly recommend it. And as far as the fees, just build in that extra percentage into what you're selling your stuff for. And at least you'll know it's covered. So until next time, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Get out there and sell some stuff. Bye bye now. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, which is the thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thank you and have a great day.